Given that both boy and girl puppies make caring, loyal, trainable pets, the great male versus female dog debate is contested with unexpected passion. Puppies, whether boy or girl, have a lot in common, but they do have some crucial differences as they grow. Hi there, welcome to Dog Joy. Today we'll dive into how male and female dogs differ and where there isn't really any scientific way to tell them apart. Keep watching to learn some surprising differences between the two. Male dogs may have a wider range and are more prone to flee the backyard, while female dogs may have more toilet training issues later in life. Male and female dogs are typically the same, while some breeds, such as the German Shepherd, have larger variances in size and weight than others. Male versus Female Puppy there is little difference between a male and a female puppy at eight weeks. Male puppies are somewhat larger than their sisters on average, but that's about it. Puppies, on the other hand, don't stay that way for long. They mature quickly, so you must notice the differences between male and female canines once they reach maturity. Appearance To begin with, male dogs are often larger than female dogs. The size difference is probably insignificant to most people. Of course, not all male dogs are larger than all female dogs, but on average, male puppies in a purebred litter will grow slightly taller and heavier than female puppies in the same litter. The size difference is more obvious in some breeds than others. It is less pronounced in male dogs who have been neutered at a young age. Males also have a characteristic appearance. Unsurprisingly, they appear more masculine and may have larger and chunkier skulls. If you prefer your breed's particular masculine appearance, this may be an influential factor. We already know the most noticeable and major physical difference between male and female canines. But what are the consequences of that difference? Sex hormones play a significant role in this. Hormonal differences in male versus female dogs. Sex hormones trigger body changes as a puppy approaches sexual maturity. For female dogs, this marks the start of their seasons or going into heat. Unless they are spayed, this happens twice a year for two to three weeks. She will have a bloody discharge that will attract male dogs during this time. The discharge is irregular and might even be stinky. Make sure to keep them away from light-coloured flooring and furnishings. Dog diapers can assist with this problem. Male dogs may become aggressive in their eagerness to mate if female dogs are walked in public. To avoid unwanted pregnancy, keep male dogs away from your female dog when she is in heat. Male canines are not shy about jumping fences in order to mate. It is up to you to decide whether or not this inconvenience bothers you. Female dog spaying is more expensive than male dog neutering and may not be covered by pet insurance. Male dogs have no seasons and, unless neutered, can be sexually active all year. When an intact male dog enters sexual maturity, he may start marking, mounting and roaming. Neutered male and female canines may exhibit these normal canine characteristics as well, but to a lesser extent. The mating instinct is strong, so you'll need to take care to keep your dog from going around looking for mating possibilities. Many of the differences between male and female dogs can be reduced by neutering. Behaviour and Temperament You've probably heard that female dogs are more loyal than male canines. This belief dates back to the days when many dogs were left alone in their neighbourhood. Male dogs frequently desire to roam once they reach sexual maturity in order to locate a partner. Female dogs may do this as well, especially when they are in heat, but males are more likely to roam. A dog-proof fence around your garden or yard will eliminate this issue, while also protecting your dog from traffic or theft. Many people are concerned about aggression and trainability in their temperament. Some individuals believe that male dogs are both more aggressive and less trainable than female dogs. Is this true? Let's dig deeper to find out. Are male dogs more aggressive? The question of whether male dogs are more aggressive than females is not as simple as it appears. Male and female dogs can both be aggressive. As part of their social ordering behaviour, male dogs are more inclined to posture, threaten and challenge. However, this is typically a display that does not result in an assault. Fights between male dogs are generally ceremonial and cause minimal damage. Female dogs are less prone to demonstrate threatening behaviour, but they are more inclined to assert their dominance in the social order. Fights between two female dogs occur more frequently than fights between two male dogs. Additionally, female dog fights are more dangerous. You might now be asking if female dogs ever channel their aggression towards humans. Do male dogs bite more? Dog bites are more widely linked to male dogs than female dogs. 
particularly to intact males rather than neutered males. Because they just offer numbers and not causes, these facts may not be as relevant as they appear. According to studies, dog attacks are caused by a range of factors, including both the human and the dog involved in each event. Male dog bite occurrences may increase as a result of greater contact connected to the dog's roaming behaviour, for example. And of course, this behaviour is more prevalent in intact male dogs. Unrestrained canines roaming off the owner's property account for around one quarter of all dog bites. It should be noted that any dog will bite if provoked. As a result, early socialisation and training of your dog are essential for the long-term health and happiness of everyone in your home. Because children are the most common victims of dog bites, educating them on how to behave around dogs is also important for dog bite prevention. Before we move on, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way we can notify you of all our upcoming videos. Which gender is friendlier? Friendliness appears to be far more closely tied to a dog's breed than to its sex. A male dog from a breed known for its friendliness may be friendlier than a female from a more aggressive breed. If, on the other hand, you are considering a breed with known temperament or aggression concerns, you may want to rethink the issue of male dogs versus female dogs. For two major reasons, choosing a responsible breeder is an important aspect in friendliness. If you want a pleasant dog, look for a breeder who has taken care to only breed from non-aggressive dogs. Furthermore, early social and handling are essential to ensuring that your dog is at ease and pleasant among people and other animals. According to one study, male dogs are more likely than females to engage in social play with people. Females, on the other hand, are more likely to cooperate with people, which brings us to the question of whether a male or female dog is easier to train. Are male dogs harder to train? Male dogs predominate in a lot of sports, which may indicate that they are easier to train than female dogs. But, once again, we must uncover the facts. Successful dogs in competitive sports are valuable breeding stock and are rarely neutered. Females might be difficult to compete against since they miss out on valuable competition and training time due to being in season or being occupied with pregnancy and nursing. So the male predominance may reflect their ability to be free from constraints rather than how easy they are to train. There are variances in male and female canine brains and studies have demonstrated that male and female dogs think differently. According to one study that looked at social learning and spatial information, male canines are quicker than females to adopt a different strategy to locate an item. Another study, however, discovered that female dogs have a stronger ability to focus, which may make training easier. It's debatable how much of an impact this has on how trainable they are. Anecdotal evidence from dog trainers suggests minimal differences between the sexes. In any event, both male and female dogs can be trained, but it is vital to begin early and be patient. Knowing that you are in the best position to get a dog is a difficult decision to make. In many breeds, the differences between males and females are minor and the information on trainability is inconclusive. If you are considering a large and powerful breed with temperament issues, it is probably best to go with a female. Gender is not a strong predictor of future health or personality. In other words, whether your puppy is a boy or a girl, it doesn't really matter as long as you understand what is involved in their care. If you prefer males, get a male dog and the other way around. So what about you? Do you prefer male or female dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.